Our feathered friends. Part 1. Birds, insects, and bats are the only three groups of animals that have the ability to fly. They are able to flap their wings and lift their bodies up and through the air. Let us study about birds' body structure. The bird's ability to fly gives it an edge over other animals. It helps them to escape from danger, catch and find food easily. They can build nests at places beyond the reach of other land animals. All birds have feathers and wings. The big feathers on its wings and tails are called flight feathers. These feathers are attached to hollow bones. There are strong muscles attached to the bird's wings. These are called flight muscles. The tail feathers help the bird to change direction during flight. Now, let us study about their wings. The size and shape of a bird's wings depends on the type of flying it does. Waders like egrets and herons have long wings that are pointed backwards. This gives them speed and helps them to glide. Soaring birds like eagles and vultures have broad, long wings with large feathers. This gives them control as they soar high above the ground. Most seabirds have long, thin and narrow wings for gliding over the sea. Small land birds have to beat their wings almost all the time, so they have small and light wings. Feathers All birds have feathers. There are four types of feathers. They are Down feathers They are small and fluffy. These feathers cover the bird's body and keep it warm. Body feathers. They are bigger than the down feathers. Flight feathers. They are on the wings which help the birds to fly. Tail feathers. They are also long and help the birds to slow down. Next is beaks. The shape of a bird's beak depends upon the type of food it eats. As birds don't chew their food, they do not have any teeth. They use their beaks to bite, crush or tear the food. The different types of beaks are Curved beaks Parrots have curved beaks to eat fruit and to crack nuts. Crushing beaks Sparrows and pigeons have short, hard beaks to crush grains and seeds. Piercing and tearing beaks Flesh-eating birds like kites, eagles and hawks 
have strong, sharp and curved beaks for tearing flesh. Sifting Beaks Ducks have a flat and broad beak with small holes on both sides. The duck digs up food from the mud. The mud and water are pushed out through the holes, leaving the food behind. Probing Beaks The hummingbird, the world's smallest bird, has a long beak. It drinks nectar from the flowers with its beak. Chiseling Beaks Birds like the woodpecker have a strong, long and straight beak to peck at the wood and eat insects present in the wood. They also use it as a chisel to make a hole in the tree which serves as a nest. The kingfisher's beak is like a dagger. It catches fish by diving into water. Birds like crows have a multi-purpose beak which allows it to eat fruits, seeds, insects, fish and other animals. Birds like warbler and golden oriole have a long, thin and pointed beak for picking up insects. Our Feathered Friends Part 2 Claws and Feet The legs and feet of the birds help them in catching, holding and eating food. They also help them to walk on their feet and claws. Birds are divided into different categories like perching birds. Sparrows and other perching birds have long slender claws with three toes in front and one at the back. They use these toes to hold firmly onto a branch or a wire. Birds of prey Kites Eagles and hawks have strong and sharp claws to hold their prey while flying and also to tear the flesh of the animal. Swimming birds, ducks and penguins have webbed feet where skin joins their toes. This makes their feet like paddles. These toes help the birds to walk in the shallow waters. Scratching birds Hens have strong feet with three toes in front and one at the back. Each toe has a sharp claw with which it scratches the ground in search of food in the soil. Climbing birds. They have two toes pointing forward and two backward for climbing up 
down and sideways on the tree trunks. Due to this, they are able to cling to the bark of trees. Lastly, nests. Birds don't make permanent homes like we do. But they make nests to lay their eggs and shelter their young ones. Each kind of bird nests in its own way. Most birds sit on the eggs to hatch them and raise the young chicks within the nest. But a cuckoo does not do that. Most nests are made up of grass, moss, hair, leaves, twigs and feathers. Some birds peck a hole in a tree while some lazy birds like the cuckoo lay their eggs in another bird's nest. Birds nests can be found under the ground, on the ground or high up in trees, cliffs or buildings. A tailor bird uses strands of cobweb to sew together leaves which are still attached to a tree. They use their beaks as sewing needles. A gilly moth does not make a nest. It lays its eggs on bare rocks. But the shape of the egg prevents it from rolling off. A weaver bird weaves loops of grass onto a branch. It then uses more twigs and thin leaves to make the nest bigger. It leaves an entrance hole at the bottom to go in and out. Most waders and game birds build their nests on the ground. Either their nests are well hidden or their eggs and chicks are well camouflaged to shelter them. Nests vary in size from the tiny thimble-sized cups of hummingbirds to the huge platforms of sticks built by eagles. Thus, like human beings and animals, birds do have different body parts which help them to eat, fly, swim and move around. <laughs>